2023 was a very crucial year for the evolution of generative AI, bringing its power uh, to the fingertips of everyday users uh, uh, through web applications, ID plugins, APIs. Uh, tech teams across all the disciplines were able to experiment with it and utilize it in their areas of work. The key takeaway was the transformative power of generative AI in tech services to enhance uh, developer experience, uh, drive productivity, efficiency, and build better quality software. So when I think about how Gen AI will be used in tech services in 2024, I think it's all about Excel and scale. So in last year, we put the foundations. We experiment, we learned, and we, we, we found the, 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 the first opportunities. We were the pioneers. Right now, what we're focusing is about continue bringing the value and bring more impact to our customers. And we will continue to adopt the technology changes and to educate ourselves and our customers. See, 2024 will be even more exciting as we will see many of the experiments and POCs from last year graduating into practical solutions designed and tailored uh, to address our customers' needs. Um, along with this, we will uh, also see solutions which will ensure that uh, these implementations are cost-effective and secure. One uh, myth that I see uh, people having is um, thinking that generative AI will do all of their work, right? That it is just going to completely replace you. You just give the requirements to it and, and it will uh, do all of the work. But that's not the case. We need to understand, you know, how and where generative AI can be used in your um, ecosystem uh, and clearly understand what what uh, AI can do versus like you know, what you will do. I think that people really give Gen AI kind of human perspective into it and they forget that it's not human. We still have us. We need to use that technology as something that help us to do our job better. And that's it. I mean, eventually this is what it is. It won't replace us. It, cre it will create new opportunity for us. We should use these opportunities to really leverage our own skills and our own work. The first success story that I can think about is really uh, giving the customers kind of the, the confident that we can deliver, that we can help them. I think this is the first success story because when I think about clients right now, there are still people that kind of afraid from that. They don't know exactly if it's going to be beneficial for them, if they're going to spend this whole time in implementing something and then it's not, it's not going to work. Though we have uh, many, uh, you know, experiments, POCs and real life projects that we have done with uh, generative AI. But one that is very close to me is a recent uh, modernization project that we had done. And we had to modernize an application which was built 15, 16 years back into a modern technology stack. And one of the challenge was to understand what does this existing code do? And this was written in a technology, uh, you know, which was there 16 years back. And now like, you know, it's very difficult to find uh, developers who will understand uh, that code, right? So what we did was we passed this code to our generative AI accelerators and solutions that we have in house. And that created a very beautiful documentation explaining what the code does. Now imagine if uh, we did not have generative AI, we had to chase you know our customers and like you know take their time bandwidth to help them help them explain us like you know what is it that the code does but here in within hours we were able to get a very beautiful documentation to understand how does the existing system work so the advice that i will give to people that working with gen ai and it doesn't matter which role you are uh, to be honest i mean just try find tools and just start experiment and use that. You will see the impact almost immediately. You could be someone that comes from technology, you could be a developer, you can create content. You will find the right tool for you and there is many tools so you can choose whatever it works for you. But just use it as something that helps you and helps you to brainstorm, help you to bring better ideas or just make your work easier. 
So one advice that I will give to the team working with um, generative AI in tech services is to understand um, uh, software development is is just not about churning out code. Our true aim is to understand uh, our customers' pain points and then craft solutions that will address them effectively. Uh, now to achieve this, we need to clearly understand how and where generative AI can be integrated. to augment our uh, capabilities and, and free our bandwidth to focus on strategic challenges uh, that truly really matters so the one thing that standing in the way of success is fear people are actually afraid of new things and we try to give them this safe space we really spend a lot of time in learning by ourselves in putting a very solid uh point of view and solutions and tools with the technology that we will bring into our customers so they will feel confident in going into this journey together with us 